Hello everyone. Welcome to Swiss Technologies. In today's video, we are going to see how we can connect to the containers once after creating the containers. So for that, I'm ready with my Docker uh, uh, instance, I mean Docker server, where I have installed my Docker. So let us try to create container. Before creating the container, we have to create the Docker image. So how we have to create the container? Or else we can directly create the container also. Let's try to create one container. For that command is docker run hyphen lt hyphen hyphen name. I want to give container name as Swiss container. From Ubuntu image, I want to create. Simple, that's all. Okay, so I don't have this uh, image locally. So it is trying to pull from Docker Hub. So you are inside the container by default. Okay, suppose if I came out from the container, if you do, uh, if you want to see all Docker images, command is Docker images. Okay, this is the image which I have been pulled just now. If you want to see all the containers, command is Docker PS hyphen give. Command will show all the containers. See, it has been created 15 seconds ago and container is up and running. Suppose here, I have this container, but I want to go inside this container. How we are going to connect to this container for that? If you want to go inside this container or if you want to connect first, we have to start the container and then we have to go inside the container. So first we have to start the container and we have to go inside the container. So how to start the container? So docker ps command will show us all containers which are in running state. So if you want to start the container, command is docker ps. So I don't have any containers which are in started position. Now, if you want to see all the containers, command is docker ps hyphen a. This is the container which I have been created 15 seconds ago. This is in exited state. So if you want to start this container, okay, so you can use same container. So how to start first, start the container, docker start. Which container you want to start? Swiss container. That's all. Docker ps command shows only running containers, right? So, docker ps. So, this container is started. Previously, if you execute this command, you could not able to see any containers. But now, once after starting this specific container, then you can able to see this container in a running state. But here, you want to go inside this container also. But that command is docker attached. Okay. You can specify the container name. Swiss container. Sorry, typo error. Typo error. Right. My bad. Docker PS command shows only running containers, right? So, what you have to do? I want to go inside this container, right? So, you can use Docker attach. You can specify the container name. Docker attach. That's all. You are inside the container, right? This is the container ID. Same ID is there. Same ID is there here also. Okay, Docker attach is the command using which we can go inside the container. This is what, how we can create the container from the image and how we can go inside the container. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you all.